At the gates of Buckingham Palace just before midday today, two cars made their way out. Inside the lead car, the Queen relocating to Windsor a week earlier than planned. She took with her precious cargo. Inside the car, one of her dogs. She was about to be reunited with Prince Philip. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, she 93 and he 98, will stay at Windsor Castle for social distancing reasons for the foreseeable future, certainly until some time after Easter. Shortly after she arrived at Windsor, the Queen issued a message to the nation. As Philip and I arrive at Windsor today, she wrote, we know that many individuals and families across the United Kingdom and around the world are entering a period of great concern and uncertainty. At times such as these, I am reminded that our nation's history has been forged by people and communities coming together to work as one, concentrating our combined efforts with a focus on the common goal. Many of us will need to find new ways of staying in touch with each other and making sure that loved ones are safe. I am certain we are up to that challenge. She ended by saying, you can be assured that my family and I stand ready to play our part. Although the Queen spends Easter at Windsor every year, this year the plans have been significantly changed. The annual Maundy service on the Thursday before Easter has been cancelled to stop the Queen meeting lots of crowds and to stop lots of crowds gathering to see her. Meanwhile, a member of another royal family, Prince Albert of Monaco here, who was in London nine days ago meeting Prince Charles and others at a charity summit, confirmed today that he had tested positive for coronavirus. It is not thought the Prince of Wales has had any reason to be concerned for his own health. We all have a vitally important role to play, the Queen said today, who knows combating this virus requires the kind of national effort not seen for many decades. And uh, Chris is here. So uh, we heard from the Queen today. Then why the message now? Well, you know, I think there was a growing consensus that people wanted to hear from the Queen in some form. Now, she doesn't do these kind of statements regularly. She doesn't react to news stories all the time. The last time I can think she did something similar to this was after the terrible file at Grenfell. She also did it after the Manchester bombing. On both of those occasions, she went and did visits as well. But clearly at the moment, it's very difficult to do uh, th those kinds uh, of visits. I also know that the, the um, message that she gave today was done with the full support of number 10. If people haven't been, and we know they haven't been listening to the advice of the Prime Minister to go into either self-isolation or social distancing, they are hoping that they will listen to the Queen. She's been through a lot more than many of us. She's been on the throne for 68 years. They're hoping that perhaps they will listen to the Queen's advice to rise to this national effort. Chris, thank you.